Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7 reads, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. What is wisdom? And how do you get it? In um, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 26, uh, an important point is made. It says, uh, believers, think of what you were when you were called. Not many were wise or had wisdom by human standards. And not many were influential, not many were of noble birth. But Yahweh chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. Yahweh chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. He chose the lowly things of this world and the despised things and the things that are not to nullify the things that are so that no one may boast before him. Look at the men that uh, Yahweh chose and chooses. Who would ever think that Paul, Saul, the man who went around <laughs> persecuting Christians and ordering them to death, uh, would become one of the greatest promoters of the word of God throughout all of history. God um, always shows that it's his might, his power, his wisdom that uh, brings about the greatest things in life. And then uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30, it says, It's because of Yahweh, Yahweh, Abba, Father, because of him that you are in Christ Jesus. Not because you prayed a prayer, not because you chose him, but because he chose you. Now look at chapter 2 in 1 Corinthians. Verse 6, it says, We do, however, speak a message of wisdom among the mature, but not the wisdom of this age or of the rulers of this age, not the wisdom of Satan's crew who are coming to nothing. No, we speak of Yahweh's secret wisdom. Secret Yahweh's secret wisdom, a wisdom that's been hidden and that Yahweh destined for our glory before time began. None of the rulers of this age, none of the satanic princes of this world understood it, for if they had, they would not have crucified the master of glory. However, as it is written, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived what God has prepared for those who love him. My daughter uh, visited me this weekend and she pointed out Proverbs chapter 2, verse 5, that says that we can find the knowledge of Elohim. <laughs> she was very excited about this discovery in God's word. And um, Proverbs uh, chapter 1, it says wisdom calls. Chapter 2, it shows that wisdom protects and guards our paths. Chapter 3 shows that wisdom directs our paths. Chapter 4 shows how wisdom perfects our paths. It's the Father, Yahweh's responsibility to teach his children. But look at Proverbs chapter 2, 
My son, if you accept my words and store up my commands, my Torah within you, turning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to understanding, and if you call out for insight, if you cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it as for silver, if you search for it as for hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of Yahuwah. Elsewhere in Proverbs it says that the fear of Yahuwah is the beginning of understanding. Not the fear like as if in cowering, but the fear as in awe. And the fear of displeasing your father. The fear of his wrath. Don't ever fear evil or the devil. Fear Yahuwah. And then you will find the knowledge of Elohim. What is wisdom? And how do you uh, get wisdom? Really, I should say, who is wisdom? <laughs> In 1 Corinthians, again, chapter 1, verse 30, it says, It's because of Yahweh that you are in Christ Jesus, Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah, who has become for us wisdom from Yahweh. So Christ is wisdom from Yahweh for us. You seek Christ. Seek the Word. Christ is the Word. Spend time in his word. Study Proverbs. Pray and ask for wisdom. And he who gives abundantly to all who ask will answer your call. God bless.